Hello everyone, in this lecture we will learn about Excel's navigation and toolbar menu. If you are following along in my Excel's Beginners to Advanced course and are a complete beginner to Excel, then this lecture will help you understand the fundamentals and help you familiarize with, with the Excel's user interface. If you already have some experience with uh, Microsoft Excel and feel comfortable with this area, you might want to skip it and please feel free to do so. So with that, we will start off with our Excel navigation and toolbar. The toolbar looks something like this. It's always there at the top of the worksheet. You can, this particular area is called the ribbon and on top you have the tabs. You can hide or unhide the ribbon by pressing the control F1 shortcut on your keyboard. So let's quickly go through what each of the tab does. On the home tab, you will find options related to creating, formatting and editing the spreadsheet. Then we have the insert tab, which you can use when you want to add some elements or objects to your spreadsheet. For example, tables, pivot tables, shapes, charts, and we will be covering that uh, later on in the course. Uh, the draw tab is newly introduced. And if you want to draw any custom shapes, you can use the options available under this tab. The page layout tab is set, used to set up the themes, the custom color palettes, and also for, for the page setup settings for printing. Next, we have the formulas tab. You can use it when you want to add formulas or functions to your spreadsheet, or if you want to do some formula auditing, there are some options over there for that as well. It also has a function library. So if you're looking for a particular function and cannot find it, there's a tab, uh, there's an option for function library under this tab where you will be able to see the library of all the functions. The data tab has options for power query, outlining your data and data validation. As far as outlining and data validation is concerned, we will be covering it up in our in this course later on. Power Query is not a part of this course. However, I'll be setting up a separate course on Power Query and I'll put the link in the description. The Review tab has options for worksheet and workbook protection. You can use the View tab to customize the display of your worksheet area. Then we have the Help tab, which of course, as the name indicates, can be, has options and links to online help and training. Lastly, we have a Developer tab. It might not be visible on your Excel workbook by default. We have to add it manually. It's a one-time step. Usually the developer tab has options for VBA programming and macros. Again, that's something that we will not be covering in this course. So I've highlighted it in red. However, I will be doing a separate course on uh, macros and VBA programming as well. In, in Microsoft Excel, we also have something called the Quick Access Toolbar. It's usually located right at the top left of your Excel workbook, just right above uh, the tabs. By default, the save command is part of the uh, quick access toolbar. However, you can always add any other commands to the quick access toolbar as well. So as we saw, there are various options and commands arranged and segregated by tabs. But if there is any particular command which you find yourself using very frequently, you might want to add it to the quick access toolbar. And in the next one to two minutes, I'll just walk you through how to do that. So I have a fresh uh, Excel workbook open on my screen and we'll go through how we can uh, customize our quick access toolbar. Let's just say that I find myself using the copy and paste command very often. And that's why I want to add this command to my quick access toolbar. In order to do that, we'll go to the file button, click on options. We'll see the option for quick access toolbar here. I'll go over there and I'll add copy to the right pane, uh, which is basically, uh, this pane basically shows all the commands that are available in, uh, in the quick access toolbar. I'll just add cut as well. And then I have to check this button, show quick access toolbar and I can select the position of this quick access toolbar. I can even place it below the ribbon, but I'll keep it above the ribbon for now. And then when I click OK, it will show me the copy and the cut command added to the quick access toolbar. Now, if I want to remove these commands from the quick access toolbar, since the quick access toolbar has now become visible, I can just click on this arrow button, go to more commands and remove it from here. Now, once you have added the or enabled the custom uh, quick access toolbar, uh, you don't necessarily need to go to file and then on the options again. You can just click on this drop down arrow that has become visible now. And if I want to add more commands, there are some popular commands already there, which I can add to my um, access toolbar. 
Uh, but if I want to look for other commands, I'll just click on this one and this window will show up. Also note that this pane over here shows you some of the most popular commands that are used and you can add them to the quick access toolbar. However, if you're working on something very specific, for example, if you're working with shapes or you know, uh, animations and stuff like that, those commands might not be available here and you might still want to add them to your quick access toolbar. Uh, the way you can do it is just go to the commands not in the ribbon and then it will show you some of the some other options and commands available in Excel, which are not that popular, but you might still want to use it. Also, if you have developed some macros or uh, you have done some VBA programming, you can add those macros uh, to your quick access toolbar as well. Although we have gone through Excel's navigation toolbar and the interface, and the purpose was to familiarize the new students with Excel's user interface, as we move along in the course, you will see that I won't be using Excel's ribbon very often. Instead, you will see me using keyboard shortcuts to access these different options that are commands that are available in the ribbon. And if you're new to Excel, I will strongly suggest that you get in a habit of using keyboard shortcuts in Excel and try to minimize the use of mouse as much as possible. In the long run, this will help you work fast and efficiently uh, with Microsoft Excel. Now, speaking of keyboard shortcuts, if you go to the Google and try to find a cheat sheet for Excel keyboard shortcuts, you will find an endless list over there. And let's be honest, it's very difficult to memorize those lists. And uh, when, as and when the need arises, you might not be able to recall what was the shortcut for uh, a particular feature that you're looking for. So over here, I want to give you a quick tip on how to use keyboard shortcuts uh, for pretty much anything you need in the, in the ribbon or any command that you want to perform without memorizing those uh, long cheat sheets that are available on the internet. As I mentioned, pretty much every command available in Excel is, uh, is executable via a keyboard shortcut. In, in order to use any keyboard shortcut, what you should do is press the Alt key on your keyboard, and then Excel will automatically guide you uh, towards the shortcut that you are, uh, or towards the command that you're looking for. So let's just say that I'm looking to select the command format painter. Now, when I've pressed the Alt key, Excel already guides me that in order to access a various different tab, what next key should I press? So Format Painter is under the Home tab. So in order to navigate to the Home tab, I now need to press the H key. I've already pressed Alt and I've released it. I'll press the H key. And once I do that, it will show me that in order to access various different uh, options available within the Home tab, which other key do I need to press? So for example, in order to uh, activate the Format Painter, I now need to press FB. So once I do that, I press FB. Now the Format Painter is activated and I can go and paste it on the other cell. Uh, if you know how to use Format Painter, it just copies the contents of one cell along with the formatting and it pasted it somewhere else. Let's just say, let's just say I want to change the font of some particular text. Let's, let me first write some text. Hello world. And so let's just assume we want to change the font of this text. And in order to change the font, we need to navigate to this particular uh, spot. Uh, in order to do that via the keyboard shortcut, I can already see that it's under the Home tab. So I'll first press the Alt key, then I'll press the H key. And now it shows me that in order to navigate to this particular spot, I need to press FF or F two times. So if I do that, it takes me there. I can write the font of my choice. Uh, for, now, for the time being, I'm doing Times New Roman, and it will change my font. So all in all, I suggest that you get into practice of using keyboard shortcuts as it will help you in the long run and it will help you work uh, uh, faster with Excel. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the lecture and I'll see you in the next one.